Hey there, buddy. So today's a little bit of a, a short video. It's a sad, somber day here. Frankie is being put to sleep in about an hour and 15 minutes. How are you doing, Britt? So you were saying that we've had him for just under five years now, eh? Yeah, yesterday would be a month out from having him five years. So Frank has been declining or in decline for a little while now. Yeah, his deafness and blindness and dementia are getting worse and so everything scares him shadows raindrops quick movements i don't want him to be scared anymore so. he can't in the mornings he can't always find the house to come back inside and in evenings and evenings <laughs> every he blade of lost in the yard, so. every blade of grass in the wind or leaf blowing past him just scares him and he can hardly stand on his own. He's been having a lot of accidents in the house. He can't control himself anymore. Yeah. And we think he's probably close to... 17 or 18? 17 or 18 years old. We were told 12 or 13 five years ago. Yeah. And that was just a guesstimate, but I'm guessing, yeah, he's probably around there. He's a tough old guy. He is, that's for sure. We just called him our tank. Nothing stopped him. No. He didn't have a lot of sicknesses. No. Nothing really phased him. Just his shaking, but it didn't seem to cause him any pain. But now he's shaking in the front a little more when he tries to play with Chevy, so. It's hard for him to stand. Sometimes he tries jumping in the house by himself and he misses the door completely. Or he'll miss the ledge completely. Yeah. Go falling down. We wanna, wanna end it before it becomes too painful or too scary. Well, I think he's been in a little more pain than he's been letting on. Probably. So, he can't see anything anymore. His hearing's gone. He gets stuck in corners. Yeah. It <laughs> doesn't know how to get out of them. So we wanted to give everybody a chance to see him one last time and say goodbye. Through video, anyway. He was a good boy. So Britt has uh, had a lot more time with him. He never came in the truck with me. He came with us on like one or two trips, right? Didn't he? When you came with me, he's never been in the truck? I don't think so. He's never been in the truck. So, uh... So Josh didn't get a chance to bond with him like I did. I didn't, know. So this is exceptionally hard for Britt today. Uh, that's the right decision. I'm just always emotional. I'm an emotional person. Well, ending, uh, when a life comes to an end, it's, it's always difficult. Mm -hmm. Even if you lived a full life. You lived as happy of a life as any dog could. In the end, anyways, the last yeah. few years. We don't know what the beginning was like. Yeah, but he's been around. I mean, what's the story on Frank again? He was, uh, found, he's, he's American, isn't he? Yeah, he was found in a ditch in the U.S. Mm -hmm. This is all I know about him. He was found in a ditch in the U.S. He went to go live with an elderly couple. I'm not sure for how long. Uh, they passed away within a couple months of each other. Um, so him and his housemate uh, was a female, a little female dog. They weren't really bonded, though. They went to go live with uh, Tamara, and then Tamara was diagnosed with breast cancer. Daisy passed away, his housemate, um, and Tamara needed to go through treatments, so the vet called us and asked us to foster him, and yeah, the last five years he's been with us. Tamara 
thankfully beat breast cancer and went into remission, but saw how happy he was in his pack, in his new home, so we were happy to keep him. My little dude. Well, it's been five years now. So. so he's been a little bit of a fixture in the vlogs when I'm at home, a little American cowboy dude. <laughs> Uh, don't know what else to tell you guys other than just wanted to let you know that it's his last day. It's his last day. Today will be uh, his last little rodeo. Sad but necessary. He's spending it sleeping. So. <laughs> At least he's comfortable. Yeah, he's comfortable. Yeah. Smart, yeah. He's One last little snuggle, eh? Yeah. We had. My mom come down, he's gonna watch our little guy while we go. He doesn't understand what's going on yet. Nah. He'll just realize it. Well, what if he didn't realize that one was gone? He might. Yeah. Maybe. First days, maybe. Frank follows him around yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Frank's like his little sidekick, but I don't think uh, it won't face him. He probably won't have any memories of him, though. No. No. Uh, oh, what you got? We'll remember you, though. That's yeah. it. You ready? No. Time to go, Frank. For his last meal. <laughs> his favorite. Tim Bits. He already ate one straight out of the window. The lady gave him to us. <laughs> <laughs> Who loves Tim Bits, hey? Eh? First time I brought him through a Tim Hortons drive-thru, I couldn't hear the lady on the intercom because he was crying and whining and barking so loud he sounded like 10 dogs. They were laughing and laughing. We got up to the window, they thought I had more than one. I didn't. It's just an exceptionally excited boy. <laughs> Could have given him a whole, whole dozen or so, but didn't really want to send him out with a stomach ache. So two I think is plenty for his size, probably too much. It tastes good, buddy. Delicious, hey? I'm schmucksing like crazy. Oh yeah, there you go. Oh. There you go. Okay, buddy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Come on. Use those gums. <laughs> he doesn't have any teeth left. Not some. They're just not particularly <laughs> sharp. Okay, last one. Yummy, yummy. There yummy. you go, buddy. Sending you off with some Timbits in your belly. Let this guy go have a little sniff in the field. His last sniff. You ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. But he is. It's a good tree, eh, Frank? Claim it. It's yours forever. Tree better? You like this one better? You can have it too.
the hard part of having dogs, right? They don't live as long as us. For those of you who are newer though, we uh, were saying at the beginning, we've had Frank for five years. He started off as a foster and he turned into a permanent part of our family, little pack. And when we got him, uh, they didn't know exactly how old he was, but uh, they estimated 12 to 13 years old then, right? And that was five years ago. So, uh, yeah, he's struggling to even. The wind scares him. It's even worse when there's sunlight out. When there's uh, sunlight, he, he gets completely blinded. Can't see anything. It's time to go inside. 